Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. Well, uh, look, uh, <laughs> New Year's Eve in Santa Fe. We're just minding our own business. And I meet this guy, Damian McGinty. He comes out. He welcomes the crowd to the, you know, the the uh, the middle middle of town. Yeah. We're all gathering to drop the the pepper or whatever it is we drop, and then we go out drinking. Mm-hmm. And he's accusing me of giving him one of the worst hangovers ever. He is Irish and has Irish friends, and he said to, that you gave him the worst hangover ever. Welcome to the show, Damian McGinty. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and you did give me the worst hangover ever. So, <laughs> so, so Damian was with his, his girlfriend. You're, you're still together? Yes, we are. Absolutely. Okay, good. Yeah. I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> And so we were we were doing shots of I think tequila. We had a lot of tequila that night. It was tequila, yeah. And then I remember right after, right around one a.m. I looked at him. I said, w- "Who are you again?" Oh, jeez. <laughs> True story. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? As you know, okay. Well, I'll, let me set the table for you. Damian McGinty, of course, uh, ten years ago was a part of the very beginning of a Celtic Thunder. Celtic Thunder is massive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. everywhere they go, they sell yeah. out. Wow. And also, he was on the Glee Project. You won the Glee Project. I did, yeah. And you actually, uh, not only did you get a role on Glee, but they liked you so much, they brought you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him, he's like, yep. He's just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I mean, it was crazy. Me. I, mean, it's, I, I went through the Glee Project, and there was um, 40,000 people went into that. And I'd been doing Celtic Thunder for four years, but at the time, I was I just turned 19, and I sort of fancied a new challenge. And this came along, and Robert Ulrich, who's the casting director, of course, for a lot of Ryan Murphy's shows, uh, Robert called me and said, there's a show, The Glee Project. We think you'd be good for it. And we can't guarantee you anything. You know, you're going to have to go through it like everyone else. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I fancy a challenge. So I flew to LA, um, auditioned with 40,000 other people. Uh, very long story cut, very short. Um, they made the reality show out of the top 12, which was a 10-week show. And uh, yeah, I ended up winning it. So And then I got, go. I got seven episodes. I think I did 25 or 26 or something, season three and four. Um, so and, what a, and what a big show! Glee was oh, huge. Huge. Yeah, Glee was big. <laughs> it's okay. Glee was and big. by the way, and you know we have friends who worked worked on Glee, Darren, Chris. They they said they all loved working with you. Yep. They were great. Oh, they were. I mean, Darren, especially Darren. I mean, we know Darren very well. He's, he's such a great guy. So it was a it was a pleasure to be working Wait, with those guys. How do you say his name? Darren? Darren. 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 So, I mean, you got to keep in mind now, now, Damien has lived in the States. He's lived in LA for five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So his accent comes and goes as. What do you mean comes and goes? Well, no, 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 no. It's here. If he's hanging out with his. Look at at her. She's from the Bronx. It's here. If he's with his his, his mates from Ireland, Uh we probably couldn't understand what he was saying. Right. Right? No, you would not understand a word. Like, I mean, what, like, what, uh, for example, I live in LA. And I've made, you know, very good friends in LA now. And I speak a certain way to them. And that's not, it's not an effort. It just sort of happens now. It's, I sort of switch between certain accents. But then when my mates from back home call that I grew up with and I'm on the phone, my friends in LA are like, I literally, that sounded like a different language. Like that's, <laughs> I did not catch one word of that. Not, not one word. But you're great. You know, you're very, you're very great at washing it out a little bit yeah. but you keep just enough well, yeah, well exactly i mean you, you just sort of learn to to be clear and articulate and i mean it's important obviously in what i do to to be clear so there's no point in working in america and having a career out here and not uh, being able to be understood because that would be a nightmare so. i guess it would yeah. be a problem not that good. would be an issue well the last time niall horn was here i said S- i want you to read a sentence off this pa- off this page but i don't want to understand what you're saying yeah i want you to speak like you're home and he did. I we didn't understand a word no. he said. No. He's great at it. Yeah. He's such a good guy. Yeah. By the way, Saint Saint Pat, uh, Saint Patrick's Day is celebrated here in the states in a big way, and we know that it's not as a big a thing in Ireland as it is. I mean, it's, it's more not. Of a, it's more of a U.S. thing, right? And, well, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like especially in New York, it's huge. I've I've had the fortune to be in New York the last four or five St. Patrick's uh, St. Patrick's Days, and it's always crazy out here with parades, and um, it's always a bit mental. And I mean, it is back home. It is big, but it's not as big as out here. Yeah. So now, what do you do on St. Patrick's Day? Like, do you have something you do the same thing every year? Like, well, yes. I mean, normally, normally we Celtic Thunder do the Today Show, especially this year because it's our tenth anniversary. So we did a big project. We've new records out and a new special and a new tour coming up. So um, yeah, we always do the Today Show, and this year we're doing the national anthem for the New York Knicks in Madison Square Garden as well. Yeah. Wow. So. We're talking about this doing the national anthem. 
<laughs> it's got to be the most frightening thing for any performer. I can't imagine what it's like. Yeah. It's, it's a wee bit terrifying. Yeah. I would crap my pants. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would crap your pants. I would crap everyone's <laughs> pants. <laughs> okay. The entire Knicks lineup. I'd just crap in their pants. Crap, 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 crap. But uh, so that's, what, what night are you doing that? Uh, what day is today? Th- Thursday. Thursday. Uh, you don't even know what day it is? It's Saturday. We're doing Saturday. So oh, that's, that's St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, oh, yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect. So, yeah. That makes sense. Uh huh. Okay, so I have a, we have the sound of this Irish farmer. Yeah. We played this on the air once and we couldn't decipher what he was saying. Maybe you can tell us what he's saying. <laughs> Go yeah. for it. Okay, play it. Was about night. There'd be a full moon there about night and then sure it'd be bright out and there could anyone go up in the mountains about night, sure. Well, there was 45 sheep missing, like, and the lambs and everything. And the sheep just count, just count out the nice bit of money, like, be done about you, nothing. Okay, what did he say? <laughs> That is country Irish right there. Um, no, he said something about bright in the morning and I have 45 sheep missing. Really? That's it? That whole thing? I, I don't, I, honestly, that's what I picked up. I, I, do, do you have the right answer? No, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Well, so this, I'll be honest, it's the only reason we invited you in here. <laughs> <laughs> something <laughs> something the about the morning and 45 sheep missing. I mean, that is. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You, you can't even understand now. your own people. Well, that's, I mean, we honestly, we don't talk like that. That's a very. Well, no, ex- obviously you do. That's a very extreme example. <laughs> extreme example. Okay, where's Rupert? Yeah. Can okay. you tell me what this guy is saying? You get to the point where you can get to the restroom anywhere. I don't tell people all the time, I like going out to the office. What was that guy saying? <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we invited Damien on the show to, to be our interpreter. Poor you should guy. get a job at the United Nations. I've got a clue. <laughs> anyway, okay, back to you, because yes. it really is all about, all about you. Uh, so Damien has, a song, Damien has a song that comes out tonight at midnight. Midnight, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I've been writing for the last couple of years, and this is my first original con- contemporary release so right. like for radio and i'm excited to see how it goes yeah so it drops on itunes tonight and spotify and all that stuff and the ep is coming out uh march 30th so i'm excited now do we understand what you're saying in the song uh yes i think it's pretty clear i hope it's pretty clear <laughs> i don't <laughs> I mean, know we'll soon find out won't we <laughs> what'd you say we'll soon find out <laughs> i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay let me tell you about damien and how he drinks he drinks like a fish <laughs> Oh, you're telling someone they drink like a fish. No, we, we we got a little crazy. Yeah. In beautiful Santa Fe. And then we invited him over to our house. We you, we invited you and your girlfriend to come over. Yes. Didn't even call well, us. I was, I was shooting a movie. He was shooting, <laughs> shooting a movie called Santa Fake. Yes. Uh, True. But, uh, so... We, we I, I sent him text. I sent a text. I said, "Damien, are you guys coming over?" And he didn't text me back. And so we're walking to breakfast, and we run into them on the street. Oh, oh there you are. Oh, there's the guy who didn't text uh-huh. me back. So why would I play your song if you wouldn't even text me back? <laughs> oh my god! Well, if you didn't give me so much fear on New Year's Eve night, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were. It was crazy. It was. It was I'm, a lot I'm, of fun. Uh, well, we're definitely gonna play your song awesome. without a doubt. It was a lot. Of okay, fun. let's talk about Celtic Thunder. Mm-hmm. It started ten years ago, and you were part of the the, the original yep. Celtic Thunder yep. family. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Celtic Thunder has this huge following. Yeah. People love going to these shows. <laughs> what is it so special? What, what, why is there such a fascination in your opinion? Well, I mean, I, I think I think what happens is in a live show, we bring a lot of Ireland in that show to America. And, um, and you know, there's such a close connection with the U.S. and with Ireland um, that people seem to love our music and just really connect to it. And obviously, you know, our biggest demographic would be the Irish-American audience. Um, and it's been going for 10 years now, and it's 10 years strong. Wherever they go, I mean, they sell out. That's amazing. <clears throat> now, I originally thought yeah. Celtic Thunder was like a bunch of strippers. Yeah. Like, you know, because what, 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 like what's it. the, oh, yeah. the thunder, thunder from down, thunder down, 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 down under? Yeah. That has happened once or twice. That makes up has, has, <laughs> when, has happened. When they, people buy tickets and get there and go, this, yeah. they're, they're, they're clothes are on. I know. And I'm like, you do not want to see me. You do, you, do not, you do not want my shirt to come off. Trust me. So I thought like, it was the Irish version of the movie Tropic Thunder. <laughs> We've had that as well, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry about that. We've really kind of screwed this up. But it, the, the, the fact that we don't, you know, we, we don't know what it is. We do know what it is. It's a huge, huge movement, actually. And so you guys will be appearing on the Today Show. When, is, when yes. are they going to run that back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. He's on with Kathy Lee and Hoda. Oh. She, Kathy Lee was in that chair yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want you to hear, um, is it Galway Girl? Galway Girl, yeah. Galway Girl. This is... Celtic Thunder. Just play a piece of it, Scary. Listen to this, how great this sounds. Wait, that's you right there, that's right? That's me. Yeah. Oh, listen to the one and only Damien McGinty. It, they should call it Damien McGinty in Celtic Thunder. <laughs>
But do you like insist on having like top billing? <laughs> no. You should. <laughs> I just go with it. I'm just fortunate to do it. I love it. Oh, so. uh, don't give me that answer. <laughs> That's just true. I need to hear an ego problem. <laughs> no. All right, There's here, no li- ego problem. Listen to this. They're providing the jukebox good up to dance. She played a fiddle in an Irish band. She fell in love with an English man. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands. Baby, you just want to dance. My pretty little Galway girl. My, 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 my girl. Sound awesome. That's my Thanks, favorite man. song from the Ed Sheeran album. No, it's not. Now, has Ed Sheeran reached out to you and told you that he liked that? It version? was it was only released a couple of days ago, so that has not happened yet. I'm oh. not I'm not I'm not anticipating it, but you know you well, never know. We have a surprise for you. <laughs> Bring it no, you Come don't. on in, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, the door is still closed. He, but, didn't, uh, you know. he didn't make it. Uh, but I'm gonna play the single here, but. Uh, so, gosh, you you are like revving it up. You've got the movie. When's when's Santa Fake coming out? The movie comes out in November. Um, I think they're doing theaters across the states, and also it'll be a. From what I know, it'll be an ABC Family type of thing. So, right. Yeah. So there's no like sex and drugs and stuff in there's this. There's certainly none of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I know. Sorry. You know our friend, uh, Mayor Javier Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. The mayor. He was the mayor of Santa Fe. He yeah. actually had a part in this movie. He he rang the bell for the Salvation oh, Army. Oh, did he? Thing. He, he was. Very he was a big, big Very role nice. in that he movie. Did. He had a huge role. Uh, all right. So, I mean, who else is in the film with you? So, Heather Morris, who was obviously on Glee as well. She played right. Brittany, a good friend of mine. John Reese Davis, um, who was in Lord of the Rings. He was Gimli. I think we were drinking with them too that night. We, we? we were. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Judd, Judd Nelson from the Breakfast Club. Remember him? Wow. Oh, look at the faces in this yeah. room. <laughs> so, it was great working with Judd. I'd actually never seen the Breakfast Club. That was my biggest confession. I've met him and I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. I need to, everyone's been asking me, mm. how have you never seen the Breakfast Club? Like I, I honestly, I don't. I don't know. think it was a big hit in Ireland. Well, I mean, I have no idea, but everybody I know has seen it. So I'm well, like, plus, it came out before you were born. Maybe well, it has something to do with it. Yeah, maybe. And uh, yeah, so and Jeff, Jeff Fahey as well. Jeff, Jeff's really great. So I mean, there was a lot of people. It was really. It was Santa Fake, and they filmed it in Santa Fe, which I think is just kind of fabulous. Yeah. Yes. And, and thanks for being nice to our town. That's my favorite city in the entire world. It was great. I loved it. Yeah. From what you remember, it was a great town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Anyway, uh, okay. So uh, Celtic Thunder. Of course, you'll see them on the Today Show tomorrow. Also, uh, if you're at the Knicks game Saturday night, mm-hmm. they're opening up with the Star Spangled Banner. Mm-hmm. Please don't embarrass us. This is going to be just a really rough <laughs> thing. I can't imagine someone has the the balls to sing the, the Star Spangled Banner. I mean, that's <laughs> that's pretty terrifying. <laughs> just go you, with it. You can call today and like you back know, out. I, well, I didn't really think about it, Elvis, until I started talking to you this yeah, morning. Yeah, that's so. nice, Elvis. <laughs> yeah, I don't Jeez. know. I'm not feeling good about this one. <laughs> please don't. Please do a good job. I'll try. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll try. And also, uh, okay, the song comes out tonight at midnight, but what about an album? Yes, so the song Slow Dance comes out tonight, and uh, then the album will be available for pre-order tonight. Uh, it's available right now, actually, on my website, DamienMcGinty.com. For, oh, least. I can't go on and pre-order it off iTunes? Uh, tonight at midnight, you can. Yeah, yeah I can't wait. Yeah, but I'm you can... Gonna... The good news is I already have a copy. <laughs> that's true. I just gave it to him. Oh, so that's there right. it is. Well, I know, yeah. but I feel like I should support by going on and buying a copy yeah. too. Yeah. Well, thank you. All so right. yeah, the single <laughs> "Slow Dance" and the EP "No More Time" comes out March 30th. Congratulations so. on everything. Yeah. And you're very and kind. Next time I invite you over, come to my house. I will. I promise. I've got lots I of tequila. Go. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Why not? I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll get drunk. It'll be fabulous. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Thanks for having me. There, this is "Slow Dance," right? Yes. Damian McGinty. Yeah.